Right, Paul, FA Cup is finished 3-3. Uh, three, three. Congratulations, got a, a replay on Monday night, we understand. Yep. And uh, I mean, it's, it's happened before here in the FA Cup. Your teams never give up, mate. I just said that, I just said in that last interview that, uh, you know, two years ago against them all, we was 2-0 down, what, five, eight minutes to go. Bounce back to all. You don't know, it might be an omen, but not, you know, we'll go there full of confidence, but we also know it's going to be a tough, tough game. Uh, it took a lot out of the boys today, it, it's make no mistake. Um, but I felt that we started strong. Um, I felt they, that, you know, they, they kept the ball very well. Um, their movement, their passing, you know, yeah, they give, we, we gave the ball away. I look at, I look at our goal and Dole scored at the right time. Um, and I just look at their goals today, two set pieces and one, one being a, um, Ball we give Mitch probably give away up, up top half of the pitch, and we shouldn't be giving that ball away. And we've done it a couple of times, a few times, you know, which disappointed me. But um, full credit to the boys, they they were magnificent today. They they never said, you know, even at half time, I said this game's not over at 2 1. They, we, we let them score right on half time, so they come in with their heads down. We got to get them, we've we got to get their heads back up and get back out there. And, and then when the third goal goes in, you think, you know, could this be a route? No, they, they, they never say never. You know what I mean with, with them? They, they didn't give up. They worked hard and thoroughly deserved their draw, you know, in the end. So it, it's exciting, isn't it? We, we, we that's, that's the FA Cup, you know, that is the FA Cup. And, you know, I think if the, the TV would have been here today, they, 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 they would have, they'd be going on about what, how good the cup, you know, what game it was and to come back 3-0, uh, sorry, 3-1 down. But we've got lots of positives. There's a few negatives there, but I'm not going to work on that. I'm going to work on them positives today and tomorrow. Um, get the boys ready for Monday um, and and hopefully push on. And, you know, you've got to remember how many players have got out today. You know, it's, it's, you know we, we, we played David right back and he's a left back, you know. And Joel's not had enough minutes to, you know, that's why we had to take him off when three at the back. And it worked for me, bringing on a 16-year-old, 17-year-old striker with Big Matty and... Uh, and, and rightly so, they deserve the victory, and I've, I've got full nothing but full credit for them boys. They, they, they've done everything I asked of them, other than they should give the ball away. <laughs> but, but I mean, with, with the uh, replay being on Monday night, with such a quick turnaround, does that make it a little more difficult for yeah, you? Yeah, you know, of course it does. You know, for them, they might be in tomorrow. You know, you've got to remember they're part time, so they'll probably be in and do a cool down. We, we won't. You know, I've got to rely on the boys, and I've said to them out there, you need to go home tonight. You need to relax tomorrow. You need to make sure you get your recoveries in now. It's important, and I'll send a message to them tonight. That make sure you get your recoveries in. Um, I don't know whether I've got Jordan back for, for Monday. I don't know, but um, you never know. Joe's still away, so it is what it is, and uh, we, we, we'll go. But it, it, it's a quick turnaround. It's a shame Monday, but I've got bloody doctors. But um, hopefully, we can we can um, we can get our recoveries in and, and, and go again from there. That's it, and, and you know, to, to any neutral, we were saying during commentary, any neutral who, who came in and watched that game wouldn't have, wouldn't have known there's a two-step difference and, and wouldn't have known which team was National well, League it, South and which team was Southern League. Exactly. Um, I just said last in the last thing, you know, for someone who who didn't know the teams, would, would you say there was, you know, and he made good points, he, he, you know, sometimes you, you see there are the level, two double levels above, but a lot of times you couldn't. So I think it's credit to the boys that we matched them, you know. Um, uh, and 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 we had that desire today. We had that hunger. We we ain't shown that of late, you know. And I ain't gonna be honest with that. And you know, when they're bad, I'll tell them. But when they're good, you know, full credit to them. They've absolutely um, uh, first class today. And 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 the way they come back and and and, and I've, I've got nothing but praise for them. That's it. Well, uh, well done on the uh, results, mate. Good luck on Monday. There will be commentary there. Whether both of us will be there right, uh, depends on if I can get the day off work. Yeah. But uh, we'll uh, That'd be great. certainly see you Monday, Thank mate. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate the cover, boys. Thank you very much. Pleasure. All right, take care. Cheers. Right, here we are with uh, Liam Dawson. Liam, first of all, I just want to say, great to see you back here at Ware. Welcome home, mate. And uh, how, how does it feel to be back, first of all? Yeah, it's obviously really good to be back with the boys. I wasn't gone for too long, so didn't miss too much but yeah it's always nice to be back with the lads i'm comfortable here i've been here a couple of years so yeah it's easy fitting back in and uh, i mean let's get on to uh, today's match you started things off 50th goal for the uh, for the club 15th minute decent decent how'd that feel yeah it was good obviously the big games are that you need to turn up for the team and get them in a mindset where we think we can actually win the game so yeah it was good to get an early goal um yeah we went on get the draw so it was good yeah 
that's it. I mean, you, you guys never give up, do you? We know, you know, a couple of years ago, same sort of thing happened, you know, a last minute goal and to take it into a replay. And uh, does that give you confidence ready for a replay on Monday? Yeah, of course. I mean, like two years ago, the same thing happened against Hemel, didn't it? So and then we went to their place and we ended up winning the game. So Monday, I don't see why we can't. We've just got to go there, positive mindset, believe that we're going to win, get the job done. That's it. Well, you've got a couple of days, mate. I know you want to yeah. uh, rush off. I need a couple. Go get yourself rested, take things easy, and we'll see you Monday. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. Right, we're joined by two of the uh, heroes of today, Fred Birdridge and uh, Jack Dreyer. And guys, I mean, first of all, before we come to anything, in the uh, in in the end, you get a, a, a three or draw. How's that feel to be uh, still in the uh, FA Cup? No, I think um, coming into this game, obviously the boys are up for it. Um, playing against the step two, step two side, who are obviously doing very well in their own league campaign um, so we was all up for it I think at 3-1 I think some of us might have felt is it over and then obviously Jackie comes in last minute and sticks it right in the corner and it, the place goes mad yeah I mean you, you yourself Fred you, you know, made a couple of important saves to, uh, to keep yourselves in the game but um, do you feel they threatened you a great deal really? Um, compared to normal league games I think obviously I was I'd have to do a bit more than normally, but you expect that when you play a team of that sort of calibre. Um, but no, I think they had quite a few chances. I think they had a lot. They had most of the ball, and I think us as a team dealt with it. And uh, when we had the chance to, I think we uh, capitalised. That's it. And Jack, yeah, we'll come to you. As Fred said, you know, you was three one down, got back into a three two, and then do you feel the crowd lifted? you a little bit to uh, to get back into the game when it was 3-2? Yeah, sure. It was a, the fans were here in numbers today and obviously when they're, when they're like that, it, it gets behind you. Um, it just, I think it shows the mentality of the team though, going 3-1 down though and then coming back to, from two goals behind against a very good step two team uh, and to equalise later on like that, it was it seemed it's good. And, and, and for you personally, you know, get, getting that equalising goal, third goal of the season for you, on, on a personal note, like, how did that feel? Yeah, unreal. You can't really describe the feeling of scoring. It's the best feeling ever, and especially doing it uh, right at the end, 95th minute, whatever it was, against a very good step two team. Uh, you can't really describe the feeling. It's unreal. We can't beat it. That's it. And obviously, it's a quick turnaround because the replay we now know is is Monday night. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, we've spoke to the boss. So now he said to you guys, right? You know, you've got to be sensible. Get home, you know, rest and recuperate. Same tomorrow. He said you might be in tomorrow for a bit of a cool down, and then it's go again Monday. Yeah, literally, you've got to. Uh, it's like the half of the game all over again. You've got to just rest and recover well uh, over the next couple of days, and just get ready to go again and do it again. Cause it's going to be a, it's going to be very difficult because they're a very fit team. They're part-time players, so we just got to make sure we're in the best possible state to, to go again and kind of put performance in like that. That's it. And Fred, I mean, obviously, we know the draw for the next round is on Monday afternoon, so before the game you'll know who you're going to face. Will you take any interest in that draw or, or are you not bothered at all? I think I think it would be good to know because if there's a big name, it will give us even more of an incentive to go and really give it a good go and try and win. And We want to, obviously everyone loves a cup run, they're amazing, it brings money to the club, it brings the fans out, like today there was loads of them. Um, so yeah, I think knowing who you have, is uh, is good because it just gives you that bit more fire in your belly. If you have a big name and you think, I reckon we beat these, we go and play there away. It's a it's a it's a big day out for the club. Yeah, yeah, absolutely makes sense. What you say about the fans? You know, obviously they were great today. Hopefully there'll be a, a good following for them uh, from them on Monday as well. And I'm, I'm sure if they are, whoever's there, they'll get right behind you. I know that about it. The Ware fans are amazing. They they follow us everywhere. They're loud. Um, and yeah, as you'd like today, when you can probably hear them in their numbers, it just gives you that extra, it's like having an extra man on the pitch. Um, it gets you through the tough times, the tough moments in the game. And yeah, I mean, when you have a good group of fans, it sort of gives you that bit more of energy to go that extra step. And like I say, Jackie's put it in, in the last minute and the place just erupted. That's it. Well, you know, we certainly heard them during commentary. Sometimes it was a bit difficult for us to hear each other, even through the headphones. But. Uh, Monday, guys, we shall be there with, uh, with commentary, so we wish you all the very best of luck for Monday. Cheers, mate. Thank Sweet. you. Thank you very much.